are live. Hi guys. Hi guys. Hi guys. Ooh. Should have been more uh, prepared for this, but it's fine. <laughs> Hi. Hello. All right. So now that we're all here, let's talk. Um, yes, yes, yes. So lately, you know, I've been doing a lot of different live streams on different platforms like uh, Twitch. I'm doing it on there on Facebook, on Instagram, on TikTok. I've been all over the place doing live streams and some people are like new to my page through live streams some people have been here for a very long time now what i wanted to talk about and i've seen this on other live streams and comments and stuff too is the disrespect in the comments that us as all human beings see all the time so i see all the love i see those comments and then i see the people that just leave like the most shittiest comments ever so what i decided to do is give them any time that i see one and this is like a grace period like because it's almost like training like the people out there that are just complete dicks and reflecting it on your own page and your own life and just like putting it onto other people and building that negative energy like, I'm like, they need to, like, not be allowed to do that. So how do I just, like, get rid of them? So I've decided anytime that I see one, anytime, no grace period whatsoever, not even a shout out or a mention, they get blocked. And then they're gone from my life forever. And if they make a new account, they just get blocked again. So they're just, like, wasting all that effort. So now I have mods on my chat that will block them for me so I don't even have to do it. So it's like zero effort for me. I just see it and then they go, oh, bye-bye. And that's life. So I'm implementing that on all of my social channels, on my live streams and all that stuff because if they're doing it to me, they're doing it to other people who also get... um very depressed by it like I'm used to it by now I'm like from the internet so yeah <laughs> for me it's like whatever just go away so it's almost just like showing people that they can't do that Crit constructive criticism is fine bring that all day long but when people are in the comments just either hating or disrespecting for no reason at all they go oh, bye bye because who needs a shitty follower, you know? Like, I'm not here for that. I work too hard. I work every day of my life. And I give so much of my life that I just want to see support. And I want to see constructive criticism. And I want to see um, thoughts and inspo. And I want that to be shared amongst our community. So anytime there's somebody shitty, they go, bye bye It's like your circle. Why well, have shitty people in your circle? We're not going to have that. Like, if somebody's going through a rough time, instead of commenting negative things to other people, talk about that rough time you're going through in the comments, and then we can all talk about it. Or go figure it out, and then get on a positive mindset, and then join the live stream. Yeah, no, that's what it is. Um, they will be blocked for life. Like, it's not a grace period. It's not like, oh, you get three strikes and you're out. It's like, you're out of here. <laughs> you know what you're doing. So why should they get three strikes and they're out? No, 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 no. You go right away. You're gone forever. And then you could just create a new profile that has, like, no followers. And, yeah. So do not disrespect me because you go bye bye it's that simple. And then for all in the community can enjoy like positive stuff, you know? Nobody wants to see shitty comments. I don't. 
It's distracting and annoying. It's just annoying more than anything. And you're not even getting attention. So just don't do it. And if you try to do it, you're out of here. I don't give up flying whatever, you know? Try not to curse. Good job, Amanda. <laughs> but nobody would ever do that to my face, right? So why do you think that anybody can do it in the comments? And most of you don't do that. The majority doesn't. This is just for like that small percent of people that do do it and that do try to come and ruin our day in the chat. Like it's not going to happen. I'm over it. And I'm over it being okay. And I'm going to hire <laughs> mods for other people's channels too so they get blocked immediately. It's like don't hide behind a keyboard, you know? And I would love to see people come say it to my face without like a recording just for clout or whatever. And they do, that's, I know they do it for attention and that's why they're not getting attention with it either. That's why there's mods that block them. They don't even get my time to block them. So that's just how it works. But besides that, I just wanted to put that disclaimer out there that they go away right away. And that's that. Exactly, Rohit. That's the move. Now, for the majority of you guys who are freaking awesome, and I see your comments all the time, I'm doing a $30,000 giveaway for you guys very, very soon because I'm like, all right, for all of Team Cerny that has supported me throughout all these years, we've been on social media since Vine. Like, I've been doing social media stuff since Vine. That's like 2013, guys. You've got, you have been with me for such a long time. Some of you are new, which is totally fine. Um, hi, guys. I hope you're with me for the next decade. Uh, but here, I think what we do is just more. Like, I want to do more for you guys. Yeah, I'm creating. Yeah, I'm doing all this stuff. But what I'm going to do, no, I just have, like, foundation probably on my lip. <laughs> I didn't put lipstick on, but so what I think we're going to do is um, do more giveaways for you guys. So for me, I'm like, all right, everybody's struggling with COVID-19 for my fans who have been there for me forever. I'm going to give away $30,000 cash to you guys, a ton of prizes and all that fun stuff to all my followers on here. So it is going to be, I think like the first week of May I'm doing it, um, but I'll announce it on here. Just make sure you have my notifications on. So, I'll let you guys know more about that. Sound good? Feeling very passionate today, you guys. I don't, I don't see it as wasting money. I see it as investing back into you guys and helping, you know, the people that need it. So, there's like a strategy to like you know, how it's going to be given back and stuff, but it's going to be fun and just positive, and yeah. Nah, I mean, Cerny's going gangster on you guys. I'm like, I am so nice all the time, and, wait, what was that? What did you just say? Oh, Cheska, I love you too. Uh, um, yes, I've been before. <laughs> yeah, I'm just like, I need to stand up for myself because I'm like, I just ignore and I'm like, you know what? I'm no longer going to ignore shit. I'm going to hire somebody just to take care of shit for me so I don't even have to blink twice at it and it just goes away. It's not to say that people can have constructive comments, bring those all day long, but when you're clearly, because I'm an educated woman, when you're clearly trying to disrespect me or you're clearly trying to um, just get at me through the comments, you're going to get blocked. It's that simple. So I am sticking up for myself and I am not having it because I'm like, I told Johannes yesterday, I was like, I saw one comment, I was like, if this person ever came up to me in my face and said that, like, 
that would never happen. It's just little pussies behind a keyboard, sorry, but it's true. Just like commenting <laughs> bullshit because they can get away with it. I need to stop cursing. I know, I'm working on that. That's constructive criticism for myself. But I'm very passionate today about this, you guys. Bear with me. Are you guys with me? Is everybody in on this? We're going straight savage. I love it. Thank you, guys. So that's that. That's my spiel. Um, but again, the giveaway for Team Cerny, the 30K giveaway I'm doing for you guys. Just giving away cash to you guys who need it. Um, that's going to be early May. And that's just going to be for people who follow me. And I'm going to be choosing the winners. <laughs> I'm excited for it. Because I do want positive stuff, and I do want to give back, and I do want to find ways to help you guys, and I always am working on that. So I like to see, like, oh my gosh, I give the most attention to the people that follow me. I'm doing, like, a massive giveaway for them <laughs> right now for you guys and for people that comment. I respond to only the positive stuff or the constructive stuff. Or the, like the thoughts and insight and inspiration. Give me that all day long. Right now I'm just talking about the new policy I am implementing in my streams. I think every creator should honestly implement. And then I am going to recommend to literally every creator. Because I see even some of the biggest creators and celebrities and influencers, whatever... I see them, they're my friends, I see them get depressed, I see them get sad, I see them stop creating and posting because of one comment, and it's like, yeah, don't let them get to you, but come on, we're human beings, so we're all human, like I bleed just like you bleed, I cry just like you cry, so comments can get to you, and it's just like so disrespectful it's like in your home in my home you're gonna do that <laughs> so it's like you guys wouldn't let people talk to you like that would you tom green is cutting out all the haters to love watching his live feed i love that jeff hell yeah tom green gonna dm him and be like how are you doing it i'm doing it too um because the only people that deserve anybody's attention are the people that give you respect. And then you guys, like the majority of you do. It's like not saying everybody is like that. It's like a tiny percentage of people. But I don't like those people and I want them to go away. So we're going to make them go away. <laughs> like it kills the vibe, you know. Nobody's going to kill the vibe here. I like to keep it positive. I like to keep it about happiness. I like to keep it about real shit, not like some people climbing for attention. Oh, la, la. and that's my rant. Oh, thank you guys. Respect over anything. That's right. Thanks, Johnny. Love it. All right, and I also posted a post recently with a caption that's pretty awesome, and I live by, and I support, and I will preach again and again. Preacher Cerny over here. Woohoo! Um, but check it out if you haven't seen it already. All right, that's it for me. And thank you guys. I also see... Um, and I see you guys, too, who are standing up for me when the people do say things, and I love that. I feel like you guys are, like, my family and my brothers and sisters just, like, sticking up for me. So <laughs> it makes me feel really good. So thank you guys for that. Um, okay. Okay. And I think I'm going to do some more uh, plank challenges soon on my Cerny Fit page. We got that Florida sun out. I need to get some of that. And I got to get back to my emails. Spread positivity and happiness. Hell yeah. 
Uh, you have a question. You got to ask the question. What's the question? Do, do, do. Uh, I am going to be live streaming later. I started playing video games and <laughs> talk about toxic sometimes. Whoa. <laughs> Ha! I'm like, alright, I'm gonna play Animal Crossing now because I was playing Call of Duty. <laughs> I'm like, jeez. I can't. I'm, it is, like, I don't know why. I just can't. It's fun, but I have to turn off, like, the, um, that's, like, a whole different situation. Do any of you guys play, uh, video games? Because I just started learning and it's fun, but... I'm a noob, you guys. I'm a straight up noob. I'm learning. Carpe diem. Well, yeah. Yes, you guys play. What do you play? What do you guys play for video games? Yeah, uh, playing challenge is going to be on Sony Fit account, though. What do I think about drugs? I prefer not. Um, I guess, yeah. Like for me, I drink alcohol, but in moderation. And I don't really take any, I like do natural remedies more than anything. But I see the need for it in certain like um, illnesses and diseases and even like vaccines, hopefully for the pandemic going on, but yeah. I'm interested. I haven't played it yet, and you guys are going to be like, oh, typical, but I've tried different games and stuff, too. Um, what's up? Subway Surfers, what's that? Sports cars. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, I played Call of Duty, Call of Duty Warzone. I played um, uh, Valorant, which was fun, but um, I was on, like, a leveled-up account, uh, <laughs> Because I didn't have my own account yet. And so I was like playing with the pros. And they just kept yelling at me. Because um, <laughs> I was not contributing to the team. They were carrying me all the way through. It was like they basically had four players instead of five. Whatever. Um, so that was cool. But I think community wise. Like I kind of want to play Animal Crossing. Because I like the storytelling games. And I really like building things. Like communities and stuff too. And I played The Sims also. But. I spent six hours just building my character in my house because I have, like, a little bit of OCD with that. I'm like, I have to make the outfits perfect and make the house perfect. So, yeah. I haven't played Minecraft yet. See un poco. But, yeah. Best game you have ever played? I used to play all the time in, like, middle school, though. So this is like throwback, but I loved Crash Bandicoot. I also loved uh, Motocross, GP, and um, Spyro. Oh, I also played Kingdom Hearts. Fortnite, oh my gosh. I feel like people are gonna just... Such a intense game, you know? Like I feel like some of those games are high stress levels and I just wanna chill. I just want to chill and build my city, you know? Or, like, storytelling games. Like, I heard Detroit is good. Yeah, Crash was fun. I like both California and Florida. Um, for different reasons. Like, Florida for family. California is super productive and super creative and inspiring. So it's good for that. I like Florida beaches better. Which, speaking of beaches, like, now they're open, so... I haven't been yet. I don't think I'm going anytime soon either. <laughs> Count of Salem. No, I've never even heard of that. Gotta play. Gotta play. How? Okay, my arm hurts now from holding this phone up. I need to do my yoga. Sorry, doing yoga. <sighs> so good for you. Uncharted is a good game too. I'll check it out, Patrick. I'm looking at all different games right now. I got this like really dope setup. I'm super proud of my setup. <sighs> it 
took a while to put together too. Like learning how to like set up your gaming is not easy. There's a lot that goes into it. So props to you guys who've been doing it for a while because it's a whole skill. How do I deal with hate? Now I just block it. That was my whole preach on this live stream today. I just have mods block the haters for me so they go away forever. And it's like a lifetime punishment sentence immediately. It's a new fun way I've decided to deal with hate. <laughs> Aw, thank you. Right? It's good. Like, it's, I would be like the most brutal judge out there. Off with his head. Ethan, thank you. Yeah, I've been on social media for like a decade now. So, you know, you get to a point where you're just like, you know, fuck it. Block them. <laughs> keep, keep the people that like inspire you and appreciate you. And like, why have anybody else, you know? Like, what's the point? For numbers? Mm, no thanks. Mm. I've never been to Israel, Ethan. I don't know who it was, but it wasn't me. Christina, thank you. I would love to go, though. I'm going to float in that sea. What was it? Um, I hear that. Oh, you just maybe ignore it. They're not. Yeah, they're not going to change, so they just get blocked. Brandon, hell no. <laughs> Not for me. <laughs> Hello from Moscow. Hey. I haven't, I've only had a layover in Moscow. Um, St. Petersburg is where I've been a couple of times. I did, I spoke at the Global Synergy Forum about how to build a, build a business on social media. It was really cool. And then, um... I did like an hour keynote about that, and then I also launched my guest campaign in Russia too, which was really cool. Hi from India. Hi Vinny. Hi guys. Hmm. All right, arm is tired. Thank you guys for chatting with me. Super fun hanging out. Thanks for like, <laughs> thanks for listening to me rant and preach and all that good stuff. You know, I got to do it. Thanks for letting me do it with you. I appreciate you guys. <laughs> Thank you. Italy, Ricardo. I can't wait to go back to Italy. <laughs> Hopefully soon. Actually, honestly, the next place I'm probably going to travel, like country, it, like not for work, um, is going to be Ireland just because I've never been, and I really want to see it. I want to go to some pubs. Cheers with the locals. Yeah, so many places. Okay, I'm going to get off now, guys. Check out my new post. Thank you for all the love and understanding. I appreciate you, and I will talk to you soon. Okay, Cerny out. Mwah.